I've been walking this land for 35 years, making photographs of Colorado. Three of those years, I've woken to sunrises like this one in Yankee Boy Basin. This is the beautiful Colorado that I live with and know and write about and photograph. But I've seen a change, a big change in just that short time. Amazing as Colorado is, she's crying out. The climate crisis is taking a toll. 155 years ago, 200,000 Native Americans walked this land. Today, 155 years later, 5.35 million of us inhabit this place. Globally speaking, population is moving towards 9 billion of us. Glaciers are Colorado water stores. But the winters are shorter and they're warmer and there's less snow falling in the mountains. The glaciers are disappearing and they're threatening our water supplies up and down the Front Range. In Colorado's southeast plains, in great farmland, the drought is three times worse than the Dust Bowl era of the 1930s. No surprise that this is happening. It's a travesty that water is at the core of this issue, and we don't even know it's happening someplace else when there's an abundance of snow here. Millions of trees are dying and being decimated by pine and spruce beetles. Fortunate for them and unfortunate for us and the trees, global temperatures are rising and these bugs are growing exponentially and they have two life cycles in one season. With all the dead and dying trees, we have more wildfires and wildland fires that burn hotter and more thorough and that are more dangerous and almost impossible to contain and threatening our own lives. The floods from the rainwaters in 2013 in Boulder out along the plains not only caused billions of dollars of damage, but they also clogged the rivers with sediment and debris. Here's the untold story, the new story that you didn't hear. Out along the South Platte River, the damage to the gas and oil fracked wells that leached chemicals into our drinking water and into our irrigated agricultural lands. That is the story that we shoved under the rug. You know something? We have solutions in all the pieces to the puzzle. We have all the tools and it's affordable. It's something that's accessible to us. It's an amazing thing that all those tools are available and each one of us can make a difference in how we can solve the climate crisis. Imagine if Coloradans started working together, pooling their resources, their knowledge, and their skills and their can-do spirit to solve the climate crisis. Just imagine this is how it might happen. By rapid prototyping change. It's an engineering concept created by Tom Chi at Google. They created the concept of Google Glass as well as the driverless vehicle. What's rapid? Rapid is creating Google Glass in one day. What's prototyping? Prototyping is taking the best idea, testing it, getting feedback, reiterating it, and testing it again. So what if we took this concept of rapid prototyping and applied it to climate crisis problems and challenges that are stymied by politics, economics, and social stratification? Rapid prototyping might lead us to something that we didn't know and a lot quicker. Last year, 
We applied the rapid prototyping concept at the Climate Summit. We invited 60 people from 16 sectors to engage in the process of solving Colorado's climate crisis. Amazingly, they learned how to engage in the process of making this change. And what happened was we had a game master that led them through the process of how to get started. Rapid prototyping is not being in your comfort zone. It's about leaving your ego at the door and working within a structured idea process. It has eight steps to it. They happen in 20 minutes at the longest. A challenge round takes only 60 minutes. Rapid prototyping is a way that we can address these challenges. We broke up into teams, and in those teams, we came across these challenges that were presented by guides. Those challenges included our communities living at net zero in Colorado and Latinos engaging in the climate movement. The solutions were varied and they were exquisite and they were prototyped, eliminating things that didn't make sense. Our goal is to build an interactive map that's a resource bank with knowledge and tools that people like you can get started with today and then track into the future. Our aim is to take and move Colorado off of burning fossil fuels and reduce our water footprint by 50% by the year 2020. As the rapid prototyping process ends, the presenters present their solutions the audience then can ask for clarifications with questions, as well as offer suggestions to help move the project forward. Imagine what could happen. Imagine working in 64 counties, 354 cities and towns, with 5.35 billion people moving to stop the climate crisis here in Colorado by the year 2020. This all adds up to something amazing. If Colorado led the way and all other states follow, we might be able to solve the climate crisis together. Looking at this beautiful image of the back bowls of ale out into the Holy Cross wilderness, probably many of you have seen this vista. You can feel the sunlight on your face at the end of the day as a reminder of what's so important to you, the vitality of life that we have here in Colorado. So I ask you to take a leap with me. Together, we can solve this problem.